हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड मॉर्निंग आई एम धीरेन्द्र कुमार मॉडर्न इंग्लिश स्कूल न्यू एरिया सीनियर विंग दिस इज फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ वीडियो लेक्चर फॉर क्लास एट हिस्ट्री चैप्टर सेवन एंड चैप्टर्स नेम इज वेबर्स आयरन स्मेल्टर्स एंड फैक्ट्री ऑनर्स स्टूडेंट सूरत हैड बीन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सी पोर्ट इन गुजरात इन इंडियन ओशियन ऑन वेस्टर्न कोस्ट ऑफ इंडिया डच एंड इंग्लिश used this port for trading today this is very important city but it in 18th century it was deurbanized student the chapter we are going to study will tell us about development of textile and iron and steel industry in 10th and 17th century Britain were totally dependent on India for clothes but in 19th century industrialization started in India industrial industrialization occurred in britain not in india and after industrialization clothes were made by machine this prevent this mechanization save time and quality of cloth wear far better than hand woven clothes in same manner iron and steel industry was also started in britain and after this britain was considered as workshop of the world dear students this is the industrialization which made britain and other european countries to concord colonies and they started colonizing the world why and how industrialization is responsible for colonization student as industrialization was started in britain they produce clothes very rapidly and their godowns were full of clothes and iron and steel and they require market to sell these products so britain saw india 
as a very vast and very good market. And when they started selling their products in India, what happened to the Indian industry? What happened to the Indian weavers? We will see in this chapter how Indian textile industries declined how weavers and other person relating to textile industry became poorer student now let us move to the topic indian textile and world market till 1750 india had been exporter of clothes and quality wise and uh, quality wise as well as craftsmanship indian clothes were very good this clothes were in high demand in european market and more and more people were engaged in producing cotton clothes indian traders or indian weavers trade with south east asia central asia and east asia south east java sumatra and penang all this indicates that indian clothes is spreaded over the world student name name of clothes suggest its importance suggest its history so the next topic is world words tell us history sub for example muslin european traders came in contact with arab traders and firstly they achieved indian clothes by from arab traders in the city of mosul which is located in iraq as they received clothes in the city of mosul they named the clothes muslin and when portuguese reached calicut and here the clothes received they named it as calico see how names of clothes is named after the names of city and how popular these clothes were in european market you will be amazed to know that british queen also liked indian clothes they <coughs> the british in east india traders or british traders pay in advance 
to the Indian waivers. On the next page, you will see order book, order sheet. There were 89 varieties of clothes they ordered. They had to order these varieties once year, one year before because it would take one year to be manufactured and to be exported. And they names it piece goods. One piece means 20 yard long and one yard wide. They ordered 5,89,000 piece goods. Student, now you will see words in Britain how names of clothes derived by craftsmanship they were made. For example, chintz, chintz, C-H-I-N-T-J. How this name was derived? This name was derived from the word of chint. This is very familiar name for Indian, chint. Chita means floral design on cotton clothes. Colorful floral design. This was appreciated and liked very much by Britishers. Bandana. This is this is derived from the word of bandhana, bandhan. A scarf, you know, a scarf. This was used by used and liked by British very much. A student. We discussed how this was Indian cross were liked and appreciated by Britishers and how Indian clothes, how they named Indian clothes. That's all. That's all. Have a nice day. Stay at home to fight with Corona.